Hey there, my scrappy friends. How's everybody today? I hope you're all feeling very well. I'm good here. I just started my holidays today, so yeah, I'm feeling even better than usual. <laughs> Um, so this is the third layout for this baby mini series that I spoke about a few days ago. I had the opportunity of taking out some baby stuff from my stash and I found quite a few pictures uh, from when Laura was a baby and I decided to just keep going and um, scrap as many pictures as I could. So this is the third layout for this series and I'm using a cut file for this one. I was trying to find out where I got this cut file from. It seems lately that I have a huge problem um, to find where I'm getting my cut files from. I have no clear idea where, where this came from. I think uh, it must be from the Silhouette uh, Design Store because I was trying to look in the cut shop and I couldn't see it. And well, I couldn't even find it on the Silhouette Design Store. But I, I do remember that... Um, oh. You can hear my cuckoo in the background. <laughs> um, I do remember that when I bought quite a few of these uh, uh, cut files, they, they were like very long titles and I had in mind to use them in layouts, uh, making the title as a focus of a layout, which is what I did here and I've done in a few other layouts previously with other titles. So this is a photo of my daughter um, with her grandfather, late grandfather. Uh, he left us when she was about two or three years old. And yeah, um, it's very sad that he couldn't see her grow, but at least we've been blessed that he was with us for the first few years of her life. And she does remember him a little bit. And the pictures help, I have to say. So it was quite, um, uh, I don't know whether to say sad or, nostalgic to do this layout but that's what scrapbooking is about you know celebrating memories and making sure that these memories do not fade away so as you can see quite a simple layout a bit of hidden journaling behind the picture there's a tab sticking out I decided to add some stitching in the top and then the bottom of the page to add uh, interest to the layout here you can see different textures, the wood veneer. I'm gonna use my Nuvo to create some enamel dots, uh, the Nuvo that I absolutely love. And that is it, quite a simple layout. I hope you liked it and I'll be back with a lot more. If you liked it, just give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Bye.